there's a lot of different ways that we can positively impact the community. And being a business that survives off the support of those age demographics and, and, and the youth, I mean, it's only right that we give back to bettering their experience. This goes back to advocating for the Bethlehem Skate Plaza. It was 10 years of my life that I dedicated to volunteer to see the skate park get built. It was, you know, it was a long, sort of arduous and frustrating process at, the, at a lot of times, but it was something that I knew needed to happen to ensure that future generations of skateboarders always had a safe place, a legal place, so that they can continue to develop their passion for skateboarding. We try to find ways that, you know, how can we help? So this year was our 10th year doing our completing Christmas campaign. And so what that, what completing Christmas is, is a way that we work with our customers around the holidays and customers make donations so we can purchase skateboards at wholesale cost and give out as many skateboards to kids in need you know, who probably have skateboards on their Christmas lists, but maybe their parents aren't gonna be able to afford it. Um, they go to underserved schools in the Lehigh Valley as an incentive to help, you know, it gives, gives the teachers an incentive to show the kids like, hey, if you keep showing up to your Zoom classes, if you, you know, get your grades up, like here's a brand new skateboard that you can earn. It's a partnership with these schools that are kids that go to our skate park. They're the ones that wander into the store every once in a while. Like it's our way of impacting our community through our culture. I'm seeing that a lot of the challenges that we're facing now stem from my ability or inability to lead the people that work for the shops. So the challenge is, is usually based on whether or not I can react the right way, whether or not I can lead the right way, whether or not I have the right amount of empathy for the people that are entrusting their futures or their, at least their paychecks to the business that I run. But I know that if I can improve myself as a leader, the trajectory of where we can go if the staff that works for us feels empowered, if, if they are taking on more responsibility, if they're helping me be able to not focus on the day to day and focus on bigger picture, I'd, um, bigger picture business, we can go so much further. And I look back at how I was, you know, like the first, first year of business, the first five years, the first 10 years. And I think that the biggest challenge that I'm still trying to overcome day in, day out is just becoming a better leader myself so they can reach their full potential as staff. Anybody that decides to work for home base or for second base is entrusting us with very critical years of their life. Like a lot of the people we hire are from like the ages of 16 to like 25. So those are the years that somebody's really trying to find what are they gonna do with the rest of their life. So the way I look at it now is if somebody's gonna give me any of those years, like what am I gonna give them? You know, what are they gonna walk away from this business? Or what are they gonna walk away from their time working for my business with? Mm -hmm.